This autobiography is very important because it speaks of a specific individual, his thoughts, his feelings, his story. Omar Ibn Said is a scholar in what is today Senegal, and he was sold into slavery. He ran away and was caught as a runaway slave. And in jail, he began writing on the walls. And that's when uh, people began wondering who he was, what he was writing. This autobiography is the only known autobiography as a slave in Arabic in the United States. When he was writing, he knew that his owners could not read it. So Arabic is, in a way, a language in which he could be more truthful, more candid about his real feelings. Using the original, of course, is what every researcher would like to do. However, the paper is very brittle, very delicate, so it was important to make the similes so that people would get a sense of the item and yet not damage it by looking at it. And preservation did a fantastic job trying to preserve it and to maintain it so that it can continue existing for generations to come. So what, we, what we're really hoping to achieve with this documentary that, that we're doing at Richard Wright, um, we hope to really appeal to the younger audience because we want them to know more about their black history. <laughs> like to me it's amazing because I never heard of Omar Ibn Said at all. So <laughs> to me it's just like, it's like amazing experience. A collection such as this one questions the very principle of enslaving another human being. Hopefully, It'll be a tool of education, of learning, of better understanding others, of understanding the history of Africa as well. It is this very personal way of writing and of talking that reaches us, that reaches everyone across the 200 years and speaks to people today.